Welcome back one and all to Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, we got to the final floor of the old schoolhouse and Toa helped me out with our class idea. This time, for our practical exam, we are dueling Sarah. So, naturally I want to heal her. And let's bring my heavy hitter. Do this. Ain't no holding back. Yeah. I've always wanted a chance to fight the famous Purple Lightning. I take it you're all ready? Bring it You've on. You've been studying and training here half a year now. I think you might finally be able to do it. Now, show me you've got what it takes to pass with flying colors. Gotcha. Right! Come at me with everything you've got! No one reaches low HP when in less than 40 Go. turns. All right, let's do this. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Keep it up, everyone. Yes, sir. Blow away. <laughs> Here we go. Now it's time to bring the hammer down. Not bad. Time for the kid gloves to come off. You were holding back. Why can't he attack? My turn. Oh, he's paralyzed. My turn. Crusader. I'm bringing the thunder now. Ah! My turn. Arcus, activate. Gotcha. You've come a long way. 
Okay, it's safe Conditions for now. met. Active party members' bonds have been strengthened. AP up by two. Did we actually do it? Wow. Nicely done. Cannot believe how far you've come in just six months. I know you've been honoring your team tactics, honing your team tactics, excuse me, but I, was, I wasn't expecting such a top-rate performance from you so soon. But you know what? As your instructor, that is the best feeling in this world. Down, three more to go. He looks exhausted. Is she even human? Multiple groups, multiple opponents. In every group she was able to put up a fight against all of us. She's on a completely different level. We need to redouble our efforts in training and help them match her. Say that again. I'm spent. Mind if I use you as a pillow, Emma? What? Here? Have you no shame? Up we go! Okay. The industrial metropolis of Ruhr. It's Meereen, Elisa, Fee, Machias, Elliot, and Crow. Okay. Out of your mind? You want us to drag this hyperactive chatterbox straight into the noble faction's largest stronghold. He does make a good point. Ortis, Ortis is a hostile territory for her, in two ways of no two ways about it. If they find you poking around, they'll burn you at the stake. I'm not worried. I've snuck into Ortis plenty of times before, and this time I've got you guys with me. I'll be fine. This is no laughing matter! I'm concerned too. As am I. Ortis is quite far from here. If something were to happen... Not to worry. We're thinking about what to do. Still, you're not in a laid-back vacation. That much I can say for certain. That goes for the group headed to Ruhr, too. The Reinford group is based out of Ruhr, isn't it? Ruhr's part of the Marquess Rogner's domain. He's head of one of the four great houses. Yeah, and his daughter is a open lesbian who will f take every opportunity to flirt with every pretty face she sees. Jellica's stubborn old man. He's supposed to be a real headliner, even among the big shots of the aristocracy. That's true, the Imperial Army also runs a military factory in the vicinity. 
The Reinford group isn't aligned with either faction, but I can imagine there are more than a few ongoing complications. Really? Sounds like trouble. Why would my father and the other members of the board choose destinations like those in dangerous times like these? Well, like I said, we're thinking those issues over. The Academy's annual festival coming up next month, there's no field study plan. So this is your chance to show off all that you've done. Know how you've gained over the previous field studies. Make whatever preparations you need to, and when Saturday rolls around, travel with your heads held high. Class 7 has done a damn good job so far. The only reputation you guys have to live up to is your own. Thank you, Instructor. Why the fuck is my catfish swimming upside down? <laughs> your rank's gone up. It's not dead. It's moving. Here's a little it's something breathing. From the it's swimming upside down. Skanata Gym is a perk. Okay. That is weird. Weird ass fucking fish. Wow, that must have been tough. It's 8.20, so we're still waiting on Elliot and Crow, then. <laughs> it looks like they nearly pulled an all-nighter working on our festival performance. They'll be able to sleep on the train. It sounds like they've got a general idea of what they want, as far as style goes. But they're both nitpicking the set list and all the little details of the performance itself. I'm not even kidding, my catfish is swimming upside down. It is very much alive. I know catfish will roll near the surface on a lake, but that little, I don't know what kind of catfish it is, one I bought at Walmart, but... What the hell? I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited! <sighs> I'm not worried about Elliot, but I can't say I've got an abundance of faith in Crow. Well, be that as it may, we just have to leave it to them for now. Still, I was surprised by what the instructor said last night. What do you think she's cooking up this time? I can only shudder to guess. Previous day, dinner time. Oh, before I forget, I want you all to stop by the Academy tomorrow morning before you head out. Both groups, meet me out on the field by 9 a.m. and don't be late. Strange. Well, Sarah randomly springing things on us is nothing new. Really isn't. But why delay our departure? It takes eight hours by train to reach Ordis as it is. You're right. If we're still in Trista at 9 a.m., it would be past sundown before we got there. The train ride to Ruwer is over five hours, too. Ideally, we'd all be on the first train out of Trista. It, Sharon, but the way you're just standing back there smiling, I'm guessing you know something. I hope you're looking forward to my unsurprise when we step off the train in Ruwer to see you already there. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. I assure you, I'll only be seeing you off this time. She's totally going to be there ahead of us. 
<laughs> Probably. That's about as sure a bet as you can make. Pretty certain she knows what's going on, too. She's one amazing maid. I feel like I have my own professional chef, too. Oh, sorry, guys. I overslept. Yo, morning, everyone. Morning. Looks like we have everyone now. <sighs> we have to meet the instructor at the field by nine, right? I don't know what she wants to see us about, but don't worry, we've still got some time left. Anyway, I think we should head out now. I'm sure most of us have some last-minute preparations to take care of. True. <laughs> have a safe trip, everyone! Okay... Let's get to the... Where the fuck it is I'm supposed to go then? Training yard, she said? I wonder why it always just turns me away from it, why that's the default position. It's a little strange. Hello, person. Mr. Janitor Man. Yeah. Head to the Academy Field. You're all here. Shannon's here. Aren't you at the dormitory when we left? Hmm. Instantaneous travel. We're going by airship? This is ridiculous.
Crimson Airship. Who does it belong to? Not enough guns. The Republic, maybe? The White Wings of Liberal. Yeah, that was prevalent in Trails of the Sky. A game while I haven't played it, it is available on Steam. Supposedly it's important, I don't know. Salutations, my beautiful friends! It's only been ten days since last we met, but I couldn't keep myself away. Hello, Oliver. Prince Oliver. And Major Vander. Glad to see you all again. <laughs> Your slack-jawed amazement says it all. Looks like this will be quite the crowd pleaser during its grand unveiling in Heimdall. Wait, what grand unveiling? Man, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Yeah. Who may you be referring to? Why doesn't Vander get a speaking role here? It's been quite some time. I see many familiar faces gathered here today. And several I've yet to have the pleasure of meeting. Is that? I know that voice. Oh, it's damn it, Viscount. The Radiant Blade Master? Father. So that's Laura's dad. Yes, it is pronounced Viscount, not Viscount. Wait, who's the one now? And look, Tobol's with him too. <laughs> this isn't quite how I expected our grand reunion to go, that's for sure. What are you doing up there? And what's with the hat? That's Captain's hat. <coughs> oh my god. I'm good now. Captain... Victor S. Arsaid, who will be assuming command of this ship. <gasps> <laughs> so that's what this is about. <laughs> I'll fill you in on the details another time. What in the name of Adios is that? Patrick. Wow. What a pretty ship. This thing's a real piece of work. Incredible. I've heard about the specs, but the numbers don't do it justice. It looks even better alive than on paper. Why is Patrick here? Principal Van Dyke, you too? Um, could someone fill us in on what exactly is going on here? <laughs> Your bafflement is quite understandable. I don't hate Patrick. 
He's a poncy ass, arrogant little prick. But he does show courage in the face of adversity, as we saw in Heimdall during the terrorist attack. The chairman of the board proposed a change to your travel arrangements for this month's field study. He's agreed to deliver all of you to your respective destinations aboard this airship. What? <whistles> He'll be riding in style. <laughs> He's mainly taking it on its maiden voyage to unveil the ship to the nation. We're just kind of along for the ride. You'll be headed to the capital first, but from there, it'll be a straight shot to Ruhr. Wow. I'm not sure what to say. Oh, this is all so sudden. I think I need to sit down. Your tax dollars at work. Well, should we be off, Your Highness? It is a magnificent yes, that ship, that sounds though. marvelous. With that, let me be the first to welcome you, Class 7. Aboard the second our sail class high-speed cruiser, the Courageous. Courageous? That's the best name you could come up with. I figured they'd be named after a war hero, or a president, or a high-ranking noble. Matter Park. Carl, he seems pleased. Alta Street. Elliot's small residence. Elliot's home district. Oh, there's Blue Blonde. Why the fuck is my catfish upside down? It's not dead. Yeah. RMP. Mm. Uh, girls' school. Princess and Elise. My, what a spectacular sight! My brother told me all about it, but. There's no substitute for seeing it soar through the skies. Simply beautiful. Yes, it really is. <laughs> You're up there, aren't you, Ray? Yep. That's the Courageous! Oliver had finally finished his airship! <laughs> it's a fine ship, isn't it? Prince Oliver seems to have gone to quite a lot of trouble having it built. <laughs> Is this the wind of change you intend to release across our staid and troubled land? Go, my son, and show me the caliber of man you can be.
<sighs> Chancellor's office, and there's the dreaded scarecrow. <laughs> Can you believe it's been almost two years already? I don't know if I trust the Chancellor. Look at how far our debaucherous prince has managed to come. Partnering with Liberal to make a second Arcel class airship, then cruising over the capital? I suppose that's one way to stick it to you for outmaneuvering him at the trade conference. <laughs> Let him have his fun. Still, this was certainly an unexpected play on his part. He and that band of students he likes to ship across the country have proven a never-ending source of entertainment. But now, my dear Prince Oliver, we have reached a decisive point. The board has been prepared every piece in its place. Can you turn the tides in your favor? I look forward to finding out. We're in the final chapter, aren't we? It's currently 10.02, and we have a north-northwesterly wind blowing in at a speed of 11 arch. We've just passed through the Schwarzdrake Barrier's airspace into the province of Nortia. Current speed is 3,050 SPH. We've reached full cruising velocity. I'm guessing that's Rain Schwar that, that's Baron Sch Teo Schwarzer's province. Maintain current course and speed. Follow the Nortia main line, maintaining a distance of 200 arch. Aye, aye, Captain. Wow. Tired. Never ate lunch. And it's almost four o'clock. I should probably make something. Sorry I'm not real chatty right now. I am I am tired. Yeah, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I go to Ruhr for my field study, and presumably the final one. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.